A local program is expanding across the Oregon coast, bringing arts and STEM education to school districts that are stretched too thin to offer those courses themselves. Fox 12's Julia Lopez brings us to an excited class of kindergartners in Astoria. The school day is about to get more creative here at Astor Elementary. Right now, students are in their very first art class trying new things with the help of one of these. So you have something flat that looks 3D. Teacher Ali Bruiser says this isn't your average art class. What do you see? I really believe in the transformative power of arts. Um, I'm an artist myself and a certified teacher. Do you see your picture transferred? Yay! Oh. I know. Yay! Yay! She's joining the Sitka Center for Art and Ecology and bringing immersive art education to 17 schools across nine coastal districts. I want you to draw two more things. Astro Elementary in Astoria teaches grades K through 2 and has never had the resources to offer an art program. It's just something they wouldn't even come close to having without this program. Put your glasses on. Bruiser was drawn to Sitka believing that art in school makes a huge difference, socially, academically, and mentally. There's a lot of different ways to express your feelings and the things that you're going through, and art can really be a powerful medium for that, particularly because there isn't a right or wrong way to do art. Um, so it's a very liberating and safe space for children to explore and express their feelings. Can someone tell me what one of the senses is? She says the two to three classes she teaches per day are more than just arts and crafts. They're integrated with science, ecology, and contemporary art. For example, Tuesday, students made their own 3D creations. You have two of the same picture in different colors sandwiched together. Learning of shapes and lines and then we're also bringing in the science and the math. So what's two-dimensional, what's three-dimensional. And it will track it was real and it could back pop out at you. And it feels really, really fun and you get to do cool art. You guys are so smart. Sitka reports around 95% of the students it serves are considered low income. It's able to bring art to 5,000 students this school year, more than double last year's 2,000 kids. Thanks to a state grant, they're able to ask only $4,000 from each school, which Gore says is a steal. Um, there's no way we could even do a week of an artist in residence wouldn't cover that. Does it look a little like it's popping out at you? Yeah. She thinks her students will love the new art classes and Bruiser can't wait to get to know them. She's excited for her own daughter to start the program in kindergarten next year. It makes me like excited to be a part of this community um, and you know want to put roots here and be proud of where where I live. Sitka staff tell me that the next goal is to expand into schools beyond the Oregon coast. Reporting in Astoria, Julia Lopez, Fox 12 Oregon.